Okay, welcome. So in this case, what we have is a ratio equal to another ratio, so therefore we have a proportion, right? It's still a rational equation, but it's a proportion as we have just the one ratio equal to the other ratio. So we like when we see proportions because then we know that we can apply our cross product or cross multiplication. So I'm going to cross here. I'm going to cross over there. So therefore, now remember when applying the cross product, our equal sign remains the same. And it doesn't matter if you apply one product to the left side or to the right side. We just need to make sure we multiply diagonally here and multiply diagonally here. So x times x is going to be x squared. Then over here, I have a negative 1 times x squared minus 2. So now I can apply my distributive property. So I'm left with x squared equals a negative x squared plus 2. Now I need to give my x squares to the same side. So I add an x squared. So therefore, I have 2x squared equals positive 2. Now I need to solve for x. So I need to apply my inverse operation. So I divide by 2, and I get x squared equals positive 1. Now I need to undo the squaring function by dividing by, oh, I'm sorry, not dividing, but by taking the square root. So therefore, x equals plus or minus 1. Because remember, when we introduce the square root, we have to make sure we include the positive and the negative value of our square root. So therefore, my value x equals plus or minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve a proportion. Thanks.